Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. I'm still trying to figure out a way to help this person change all these sizes of these holes. Evidently, he skewed his item, and they needed to be 0 .3, 0 .03. And when he skewed it, it got him out of balance. There's no way, I don't think there's a magic bullet that you could just select them and change them. But you could write a macro to make it a one keystroke. So we're going to select this item. We're going to go, and I'm going to start a macro. And I'm going to call it size. Now, in uh, 2019, they changed this to script. I'm going to turn it, I'm going to left click red. And I'm going to go up here in 0 .03 by 0 .03. And I'm going to stop the macro. Now, I'm going to click on my item and I'm going to go to the script manager which is going to be macro manager and yours is going to be under tools you've got all the same windows and here's our size i'm going to run it turned it into red just so you'll know which ones you've done and it changed it to the right side now we can left click this and assign a keyboard stroke and i'm going to give it the, the letter v and I'd already kind of done this. So let's see if it works. Then you could go through here and just easily hit the letter V. Or any letter that's not being used. This would, you know, save you quite a bit of time. I don't think you could do more than, more than one at once. Nope. Because it's going to change it up. But this would be a lot faster than clicking on here and changing both sizes. Um, if I was smart enough, I could make a macro to follow along, but I haven't figured that out yet. That would save you a little bit of time. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.